So like where it's black, it's fabulous because it just disappears, but yeah. the white shades still are going to have those like bars across them. The mural at 455 Hyde Street is part of a bigger project called the Migrating Mural and the Migrating Mural is a series of art installations painted along migration corridors of wildlife that they share with people. We are currently on our second species which is highlighting the monarch butterfly and what I hope that viewers will take away is A, to be impacted by the beauty of the animal and the scale that we have painted the animal. It's a 50-foot monarch butterfly on this wall. And then to be aware of the animal so that they see it in nature themselves or more open to seeing it, their eyes are more open and to become familiar with its story. This building is based in the heart of the Tenderloin at 455 Hyde Street. We knew we wanted something here and we were just so lucky to have the chance to have our paths intersect with the Xerxes Society and Inkdwell and the opportunity to create some amazing art that not only is beautiful but also means a lot about our role in this world and being able to pay respects to the monarch butterfly and how they fly from Alaska all the way down through Mexico but through San Francisco was a great privilege and opportunity to go ahead and, and demonstrate and show that. So one of the things that we think about a lot when we create our public artworks um, is this idea of um, monuments. And, you know, historically we create monuments to war leaders, we've created monuments to civil leaders, we create monuments to all kinds of um, cultural and human events, but there aren't very many monuments to the natural world, so we often think about our pieces as urban monuments to wildlife and nature, and the Migrating Mural series is exactly that. It's a monument to monarch butterflies, to Sierra Nevada bighorn sheep, and any other following species that we will highlight over the years. So we are very grateful to have connected with Veritas um, to provide us with this incredible canvas and to be so supportive along the way. And we are also fortunate to work with conservation partner like the Xerxes Society and to have the support of uh, various grants throughout the city. I was gonna tell them I've already messed it up. I've made the butterfly a moth. This mural is changing the skyline of San Francisco. It provides a little bit of beauty and art and inspiration for the people who live in the city and in this area. And we hope that by providing this for our city, there's an opportunity to be able to even activate and do more than what the art itself just represents. I've been here for six years and I live in the building with a migrating mural of the beautiful butterflies on both sides of the building. I think that it's made a really big impact on the neighborhood and on the skyline in San Francisco. I've got a lot of friends in and around the area and it's been a talk of the town since it started. It's been fantastic to be uh, part of that and part of the history of San Francisco that starts today. When I walk around the city, especially when I walk up Hyde Street, people are talking about it. I see people stopping to take photos, and it just, I think with the whole neighborhood, what it then does is it sparks conversation. I think it sparks conversation about the Tenderloin and about beautifying the Tenderloin because it's, it's actually a really fascinating neighborhood. I just absolutely love the mural. I think it makes everybody in the community talk, and I think it also brings the neighbors in the building together to talk about as well. I would love the residents to feel proud to enter into their building, to be able to talk about their residence as a landmark and to be able to say I live in the Butterfly Building with pride and to feel some amount of joy 
when they walk in and out.